I have the new Seeker 4 Mini from Olight to show you guys. Just released June 2023. So as you can see by the shot, it's a floodlight. Physically, it's pretty small. It's 3.43 inches, but has a lot of flood and it's uh, really bright. So what I'm showing you in this video is the neutral white version. Uh, I prefer neutral white. I use cool white for different things as well. But just so you know, this is launching or has launched in three colors, which is black, OD green, and red. Only the black and OD green are also available in neutral white as well as the standard cool white. So keep that in mind as you're watching this. This is neutral white. And the other thing that makes this uh, completely different from anything else in the Seeker line. I'll show you the comparison with the Seeker 3 Pro. You can obviously see it's a big difference. But not only do we get white light in this, we also get UV. And the UV in this is 760 milliwatts. It's actually a bit brighter than the one that is in the Arkfeld UV. And I'll show you for a demonstration. I have my pocket knife here, which I put on the stairs because it glows and as I backed up and walked backwards away, 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 this light illuminated my knife at quite a great distance. So the UV in this is pretty powerful for its size and it's definitely more powerful than anything I have and I use it to, you know, charge my glow in the dark accessories you just whip this at it a few times and that stuff will glow for quite a while so again i'm very pleased to have this in a neutral white i'm probably going to get the od green one as well because i like the odg and for settings i'm glad that what they put for the lowest is two lumens. It's nice to have a variety because most of the time it's either half lumen, one lumen, or the old Baton Pro is five. This is pretty cool at two lumens and it's plenty enough to do things as you can see at my desk here in the dark and that will last for 12 days straight. Then you bump up to 15 lumens which is again another perfect setting you get 33.5 hours out of that and then the medium is 120 lumens in which it runs for five hours 20 minutes now the high is 600 lumens and it'll stay there for 50 minutes and then it'll ramp down to 120 lumens therefore where you will get 25 minutes now the turbo on this is brilliant it's 1200 lumens as you can see it's very bright you only get three minutes of that and while out filming it lasted about three minutes and i could notice that i was not getting the coverage i was in the beginning and then it goes down to the 600 lumens and then eventually 120 lumens but for something this small to have that much flood and 1200 lumens is nice.
So for what it comes with is a rechargeable 18350 battery, which is the standard magnetic uh, Olight charging setup. You can completely charge this light from dead in an hour and a half, which is great. Nice pocket clip. Very sturdy in its build and the way it fastens. It does not move. It's a two-way clip as well. And speaking of nice touches, the side switch is metal. It is not rubber like, you know, a lot of them are. So externally, it's all metal. With the exception of, you know, the business end of it. But yeah, built very, very Olight good. So definitely a nice little flashlight if you want something small that is floody but has UV as well because the Arkfeld just might not be your thing where you can get the UV white light version. That's pretty small and it's just under four ounces as well. So, you know, for the times you don't want to carry the big seeker throw this in your pocket all right i appreciate you guys checking out my overview of this just wanted to show it to you since it's brand new and if you're watching this not during a sale time you can use my promo code coupon code sdnt10 that will get you 10 percent off anything in the olight store except for the x9r anytime there you go see you all soon